Good evening, family. How's everybody doing today on this Tuesday? Hopefully, everybody had a wonderfully blessed day. Hanging with your loved ones, being safe for you, wherever you're at in this beautiful world that we live in. This is your boy, Hammer G, letting you guys all know what's going on in the wild, wild west of crypto land. Guys, today's video, we got a lot to cover, right? From We got from Coinbase making $30 million off of merely Doge in quarter one to a congressman uh, buying Doge and not only him, there's another uh, congressman. And we got Vitalik Buterin, the Ethereum co-founder, uh, talking about how he loves Doge. Guys, we have so many positive catalysts to get into the uh, today in this video so we're going to just dive right into the content now if all of that sounds great to you please consider to like and subscribe and none of this is financial advice it's just your boy sharing his thoughts and opinions nothing more nothing less no let's just dive right into the content all right guys bitcoin is currently at 0.31 percent we are at 34,127 guys as you can see the overall uh, crypto markets are kind of mixed you know what i mean well uh, being that bitcoin is doing a little bit better today so the markets are doing a little bit better as well, you know what I mean? Because when Grandpa Bitcoin is, is doing green, the overall markets are usually doing green as well, you know what I mean? So that's why it's important that Bitcoin is uh, is always happy, that Grandpa's happy, right? We got to give him his insure, make sure he's always uh, got his goodies, right? <laughs> you get the point I'm making, guys, you know what I mean? Because the overall uh, sentiment on Bitcoin affects the overall markets, all right? For those of you that don't know. All right, guys, let's just dive right into Dogecoin. Cause we got a lot of cover, right, guys? We're currently 23 cents. We're down 0.57 percent for the day. Uh, 24 hour was sitting at 24 cents, and our uh, 24 hour low is at 23 cents, guys. Our market cap is at 30.51 billion dollars. Trading volume is at 1.27 billion dollars in the last 24 hours. I'll take that, guys. That it's better than the 9 million, and then the previous day we were at 8 million. So I'll take the 1.27 million over the um over the uh. uh eight and nine million guys that we had the previous day and guys for those of you that don't know when when uh when volume is down the price tends to uh, fluctuate a lot more a lot more volatility and that goes for any crypto asset in general okay guys so now we're looking at the charts we're going to just briefly uh talk about levels and resistance to support obviously guys nothing has changed 21 cents is still in my opinion a strong level of resist of support 25 cents is still a long, uh, level of resistance right we've tried it for four days in a row uh, we, we broke past that level of resistance. We tested it. We broke through, but we continuously continue to pull back, right, uh, to that 25 cents uh, level of resistance. We just tend to not be able to uh, break past it and stay past it, right, because we need more volume, more buying pressure in order to sustain that 26 cents, right? We broke to 27 cents uh, for a second there, right? But then we retraced back, right? So, guys, as you can see, right, th this is a daily chart, right, guys? So, every candle represents a day. As you can see, the trend, guys, for the past one, two, three, four, five, uh, basically the last six days, almost a whole week, guys, the trend has been down, a downtrend, right, from, from the charts, not me. So, in my opinion, we're, you know, I like to keep it real, guys. You know what I mean? On this channel, I'm not going to... Oh, yeah, we're going to the moon. We are going to go to the moon. You'll see. But nonetheless, guys, we are temporarily on a downtrend. And, and being that there's not a lot of volume, that doesn't really help the price of Doge either. You know what I mean? But nonetheless, we do got a lot of positive uh, catalysts that have came up and that uh, can help the price, right? In the near and foreseeable future. We'll get into that here in a second. But I just want to briefly show you guys that, guys, we could possibly be on a downtrend. But you got to always remember that the, when in doubt, zoom out, guys. You know what I mean? Look at the overall bigger picture. We're in this for the long haul. Well, I know a lot of us are, right? And we're at the beginning stages, right, of investing. But all right, guys, that is enough of, of the charts, right? I want to keep it easy breezy. I just wanted to show you, right, 21 cents support, 25 cents resistance. Just want to show you that I think we're temporarily on a downtrend. All right, guys, now let's get into a lot of this positive stuff here, guys. All right, let's get into uh, let, right here first. Here we go. So, uh, all right, for, we're going to get into the congressman, Barry Moore. Right, talking about him buying Dogecoin. It says Congress Barry Moore buys Dogecoin. Other cryptos. Here are the details. Right, I'm not gonna dive in too too. It says what happened. It says a new filing from uh, CongressTrading.com unveils the purchase of three cryptocurrencies by a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. That is huge, guys. For for marketing, for publicity, for adoption, for Doge, guys. That is huge. It, it says. Uh, what happened? It says Barrymore purchased stakes in Cardano, Dogecoin, and Ethereum. 
during the months of May and June, according to the filings. Right, he bought 1,000 to 15,000 of Doge guys on June 13th. Right, and then it shows on uh, Ethereum and Cardano, but we're not talking about them. We're talking about good old Doge. Now it says, why is it important? It says the buys, the buys by more follow a transaction reported in May of uh, Representative Mark Green. So in other words, they're saying, guys, another representative in the House of Representatives, Mark Green, he also bought Dogecoin, guys. He bought uh, one to 15,000 worth of Dogecoin on two separate occasions. That is huge. Now you got two uh, people in the House of Representatives that are buying Dogecoin, guys. Freaking Dogecoin, that is supposed to be a fucking joke coin, right? To a lot of people. But look at well, who's the joke now? You know what I'm saying? So it just goes to show you guys that we are early and people even even represent even freaking congress people are buying doge what does that tell you you know what i'm saying since the purchase of cryptocurrencies comes as a time when uh many have speculated more regulatory pressure from the u.s government for cryptocurrencies uh it says more members of congress disclosing purchases could show support for cryptocurrencies it is guys it, whether we like it or not we're going to a cashless society and digital assets are going to be be the thing man you know what i'm saying so it's you either keep up or you get left behind. That's why on this channel, guys, I like to keep you guys informed on what's going on constantly with Doge in the overall crypto markets. All right, it says Ethereum. Okay, we're not going to talk about that now. All right, guys, so now that's what I wanted to briefly share. That's a super huge positive catalyst, guys, for the price of, uh, of Doge, right? It might not be now, guys, but it could be in the uh, foreseeable future, right, guys? All right. I hate having to do this here, guys. Sorry. All righty, hold on, guys. I'm trying to put in my... Pass. Okay, guys, now let's get into uh, another uh, positive catalyst here, right, guys? Now it says, it says, Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin tells Dogecoin bull, Gary, in an interview, right? I love the Doge every day, right, guys? So now it goes on to say, Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin in a talk with longtime Dogecoin uh, bull, Gary Lanchett, and Pussy Riots, I don't know how to say that name, guys, it says better known as uh, Nadia... Tolkono said he loves a Shiba Uno themed coin. It says Buterin's comments came when he was asked uh, by Lanchi how he felt about Doge. He says, I love the Doge, said Buterin, adding, I love the Doge every day. Right, guys, and he also talked positive about Doge, you know, about a possible collaboration. And there was, right, and there was a faster transaction speeds via through loopering, right? That was, I have a video on that about maybe a week ago if you want to go check that out, right? That explains, you know, the collaboration of Ethereum and, and, and Doge. It says Lanchi is the co-founder of the decentralized dance party through which is aim which he aims to give away one million doge as he owned uh, as he has owned since 2014. Then you have Canadian Prime Minister, which is the president basically of Canada. His uh, stepbrother Kyle Kemper is also the co-founder of the project, right? Which is called uh, it's called uh, Dis Doge Disco, guys. Doge Disco Millionaire. If you want to go look it up on my video yesterday, you can go check that out. Or the day before yesterday, you can check it out. I made a video on that as well, how to get there and all of that. Right? It says, the game created by Lanchi is an uh, accumulation of non-fungible tokens or NFTs, Dogecoin, Pokemon, uh, Go-like augmented reality, and uh, Tamagotchi virtual pets that rose in the heights of popularity during the 1990s. Right? And it, it says, Doge creator Billy Marcus tweeted an uh, expert of chat between Gary and Buterin and posted, I like ETH and uh vitalic buterin right guys and, and vitalic has always had something positive to say guys about doge he's never said anything bad he invested back in 2013 guys he was a a, a very strong believer of doge before a lot of us even were guys it says now check this out guys this is very important it says despite doge's recent decline the cryptocurrency has emerged as a force to be reckoned with boasting of a nearly uh, of a rather 4954.46 percent year to date rise and a huge fan base that calls himself doge army baby guys that is very important to keep in mind always remember that guys even though, you know, things don't look good, they don't look pretty, right? We've been consolidating between 26 and 23 cents for, like, say, the past two weeks, right, guys? Basically, th between 24 and 26 cents, right? Plus or minus two cents. But now we're, we're around 23 cents for the past two days. But I say all that to say this, guys. Like I said earlier, when in doubt, zoom out. Got to remember what you're doing this for and why you why you have conviction in Doge and why you're truly a long-term investor. Because you believe in Doge, you're part of the Doge army and what it stands and what it represents, right? But nonetheless, in the overall year, guys, we've made almost basically 5,000%. You know what I mean? There's a lot of other uh, altcoins that haven't even done that, guys. And, that, and like I said, this was supposed to be a joke coin. That people thought it was just a meme joke coin and blah, blah, blah. It ain't going to amount to shit. But look at it, guys. It's made a lot of people rich. It's made a lot of people money. You know what I mean? So 
Just always, always got to remember that, guys. I don't want to keep rambling on because I can't. All right, guys. Now, let's dive into this uh, other article here. Right now, I wanted to show you guys here. Uh, where are you at here? Come here. Where are you at? Get over here. All right. Now, it's talking about how, uh, real quick, right? It says, Robin had revealed it made $30 million from clients trading Dogecoin in the first quarter, guys. In the first quarter. Off of merely Dogecoin, right? And the amount likely skyrocketed ahead of the company's, uh, likely to skyrocket ahead of the company's IPO. It says trading Doge, uh, Dogecoin helped generate 30 million in revenue for Robinhood in the first quarter, guys. Robinhood is likely to see revenue derived from Dogecoin explode in the second quarter, guys. Right? Trading volume of Dogecoin soared 258 percent in the second quarter, according to Coin Market Cap. Right? This is huge, right, guys? Because, and and, and they're gonna be doing a wallet, right? Uh, I had made a video about that as well, guys. You know, if you watch my channel, man, I keep you guys up to up to par on what's going on, right? But anyways, guys, uh, Robinhood is talking about building a. Uh, in-app wallet so you can you know move uh you can move and um leave your uh those there if you want to right you don't have because right now you can't yank it off as of yet but they're working on that right guys and this is huge right but guys and it just goes to show you the demand from retail investors such as you and i for doge right guys 30 million in just the first quarter uh robin hood made i'm not gonna uh die. this isn't uh it's in uh uh investors uh what is it yeah and in market investors guys if you want to check it out yourself right there's a pretty good article in here i'm not gonna read the whole thing right and take up too much of your time you know what i mean but hi man you guys you always read articles to us man that's boring right guys but it is because it keeps you informed and there's always nuggets in there here guys that you can learn and right and, and it's always good to be informed on what's going on man it says uh it says the trading volume in Dogecoin in the first quarter of 2021 was 243 billion. On average, 2.7 billion worth of Dogecoin exchanged hands on any given day in the first quarter. And Dogecoin was just six cents in March 31st. Just think about that, guys. Back in 30 March, guys, that's just a couple months ago. We were at five cents. And look at where we're at now. We've came a long ways. I keep telling you guys this, right, guys, so you guys don't get discouraged. You gotta stay positive diamond hands baby it says fast forward to second quarter and the cumulative trading volume in dogecoin soared to 866 billion on average 9.5 billion worth of dogecoin uh, exchanged hands on any given day in the second quarter and dogecoin peaked at about 74 cents on may 8th right those are those are key important things to take away from this right guys like i said look up the article read it yourself i don't want to take up too much of your time i already have all right guys now there is some other positive articles in benzega if you want to go check them out here i'll just show you real quick i'm not going to read them guys because i have already taken up too much of your time i appreciate you staying with me if you have already to the end right guys now there's some other articles here as well guys all right talking about uh youtube uh the youtuber matt wallace but anyways guys you guys stay safe, stay blessed. This is what I had. Hopefully you found it useful and insightful. If you did, please consider to maybe like and subscribe the channel to the channel. And I'm doing a giveaway of $300 when we hit 1,000 subscribers. If you like free crypto, what you waiting for, man? Hit that subscription bell. All right, guys, you stay safe and stay blessed. Your boy, Hamaji, it's out for peace.